happy to be here. Yes! I'm excited. So today, we are going to do the seven deadly Satan's beauty tag. Dun, dun, dun. And we both love anything to do with seven deadly sins. If you guys know my cosmetic line, Corpse Cosmetics, um, you know that I have a collection of seven deadly sins. Shameless plug. But you like my team with I know, I know, I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> but yes, we love all things to do with that. So we're going to get the questions right here. And we're going to jump on into it. So the first one is greed. And it is, what is your most inexpensive beauty item and your most expensive? Hmm, I would have to say my most inexpensive beauty item would have to be Right now, I am messing around with e.l.f. Um, brush cleaner, and it was $3, and honestly, for 3 bucks, it's not that bad. Uh, of course, it leaves a little bit to, you know, to desire, but it's a lot better than uh, spending $30 on a really good brush cleaner when the bottle's like this big when you know you're since we do makeup videos so often that we're just gonna go through that in a month yeah so and I would have to say my most expensive as a whole would be my uh, gel nail polish kit which is includes the UV light and the kit to get you know the nail polishes and the chip or, or chip proof thing and et cetera, et cetera, and that was like I think 117 is what in total. Dang. Yeah. So. Damn. Yeah. And gel nails, man. And I can't even wear it because I work at a restaurant, so money out the window. No. Fly away to there. You're free. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, my most inexpensive, of course, like she said, Elf. Um, they have some really good products for not a lot of money. They have the regular line, which is like, everything's like a dollar. Then they have the next line, which is like three dollars. I mean, and some of that stuff is better than some twenty dollar eyeshadows. Um, yeah. not naming names, but, uh, <clears throat> uh -huh. but yeah. And my most expensive was probably my most recent purchase of a foundation, but I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. But Spoilers, it was fail quail. It really was. Um, I'm not a fan of it, and I'm really kicking myself in the butt for buying it. But anyway, mm. I'll do a whole video on that later. Later. Later, gangers. Anyway. Mm. Number two, Wrath. What beauty product do you have a love-hate relationship? I would have to say that as a, what comes to my most recent memory would have to be the NYX eyeshadow bases. Mm -hmm. Only because you have to have a precise amount to put on because if you put way too much on it and you don't, you know, smooth it out, blend it out, you will have creased eyeshadow. And it's happened to me more than once and it's just like, especially when I'm trying to film a video that does not look good because it makes everybody think that you can't do makeup. So that's my love-hate and I would have to say one more product is it's Wet n Wild and I think it is the Mega Last lipstick. I can't remember. I'm probably gonna do a video on it for a review or whatever. Click That's her face to go to her channel. Well, by it's the way. not up yet. Well, yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, you can still go. Yeah, you can check still out go, but stuff. that video is not up yet. Uh, that should be way down in the future. I have so many videos to catch up on. It's not even funny, but um, it's like a lip the lip color, kind of like a lip lacquer, but the problem is is that in order for it to stay on to be long lasting, it's so drying. And it's literally like having like a lip tattoo on. So it would be like having those, what is it called, the violent lips or something? Yeah. It, would, it felt like that. It felt like I put, literally took like a tattoo that you buy from like those machines, you know, the little vending machines, and then just like put it on my lips. Mm -hmm. That was terrible. Yeah. Never wore it again. <laughs> um, I actually have two, like, love-hate. Um, MAC lipsticks, um, I do like some of them, but they're just, some of them are really, 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 really just awful, and, like, 
I'm all about, like, the, when they have the Viva Glands that come out, I do purchase those because the money goes to a good cause and stuff. But sometimes, most of the time, about 80% of the time, they're just really streaky. And they just, I just, I don't know, they don't last long. And, I mean, for the price that you pay, it's really not worth it. Um, and the other one is all glitter liners because they're either a hit or a miss mm -hmm. because either you get a really, really good one or a really, really crappy one. And then the good ones, some of them make your eyes stick together because I have a really good one that I really like, but every time I open my eyes, they stick together and I look like I'm on crack. <laughs> so I'm it's trying not to fall asleep. It's like... It would be perfect if I was still in school, but I'm not. I'm trying to go out, and I'm not trying to look like a damn crackhead at the club. Like, hey, you want to dance? Mm. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I know, and, like, some of them glitter fall out, and it gets in your eye, mm. and then you're covered in glitter, and, like, three days later, you're like, why is there glitter in my food? And why is there glitter in my teeth? Like, you just, it just... I love glitter, but God help me, when it gets on me, it's on there. Like, it's, yeah, it's like the herpes of like it, beauty stuff. It really is. Like, you, I mean, it'll be. I mean, I know this is probably gonna be TMI, but I mean, there'll be glitter in your poop, and you're like, where did this come from? I don't remember eating glitter. Damn. I'm sorry, that's TMI. Anyway, we're all about truth and truth on this channel. It's a bonding experience. Yes, you guys are friends so I can talk to you about poop and burp and fart and snot. Yeah, but it's a beauty channel. I don't think girls do that, remember? Girl, all girls burp and fart. They just don't want to admit it. Right. Well, that's why, you know, they die so quickly they combust. Exactly. Like that commercial. God, she, oh. <laughs> I don't think she farted. Um, anyway. <laughs> Okay, gluttony. What are your most delicious body uh, beauty products? Body products, really? Oh, that, <laughs> that, that, that body products you want to show you I know. Ah. <laughs> Let me eat it. Your most delicious beauty products. Oh, Lord. I can't really think of some off the top of my head. Probably, if I have to say, like, delicious as in, like, you can eat it. I have to say the EOS lip balms. Oh, those are really nice. I like those. They have like, they have like this taste though that it like if you accidentally like rub your lips together or you lick your lips or whatever, it's not disgusting. So I give that a plus because usually all that stuff is like tastes like medicine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really like the J Cat lip stuff because it has like a minty kind of refreshingness to it. I, I really like. This. <laughs> I really like those. Um, um, I don't eat them, but I mean, if it does get in my mouth, you know, of course, you know, lip products, you're going to have that happen. Um, I'm not like, oh my god, it tastes like wax and crayons and stuff. So, right. I mean, yeah, but if I, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know, like, beauty products, I don't think they should have a smell to them unless it's lip stuff. But I've known some eyeshadows that have had wonky, wonky smells to it. And I'm just like, what is this, L'Oreal? Um, <laughs> you know, not naming any names, L'Oreal. Anyway. Jesus, there you go again. Turn it! I'm sorry! Anyway, okay. Sloth! What beauty products do you neglect due to laziness? As in to put on my face, I guess? Yes. I would have to say everything. <laughs> like, I have to be in one of those moods where I have to put on makeup. Like, a uh, perfect example. Last night, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to film the next Disney collaboration video. And I even did one eye. But then I just took it off because I was like, fuck it, I'm too tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. So I was just like, whatever. I'm just going to. Uh, tomorrow. I'll film tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, mine is mascara because I just get so annoyed with it and I've put putting on mascara since I was like 16 and I still stab myself in the eye. I'm 26 now. That's 10 years. It's like a long ass time and I still stab myself in the eye and I'm just like, I'm not dealing with that. Like, 
and also, you know, foundation, I really don't, like, put it on much unless, like, I'm going somewhere or someone's hanging out or whatever because I'm just like, <laughs> I don't care, my skin needs to breathe because when I do put on makeup, I put on a ton and I know this and I'm guilty of it and I'm just like, yeah, I, my name is Kenny and I am addicted to putting on way too much makeup. <laughs> Every so. day we gave it a I know, right? <laughs> I just need the pink hair. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. And the curls and the lashes. <laughs> you, you'd still rock that. I can just see you. I could probably do that. I'll be like 100 years old with bright colored hair and some funky makeup and be like, Oh, I'm going to the bingo now! Yeah, at that point it just grows that <laughs> funky hair color. <laughs> yeah. I'll still be done it though. I'll be like, I'm going to try to get this gray, pink, or green. Oh, it's purple. Okay, that'll work. That's funny. Alright. Pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Oh, Lord. I would have to say foundation. Mm -hmm. I have to, have to put that on. I'm very self-conscious, especially being of ethnic skin. Anything that appears on my face, whether it's a pimple or whatever, it, it shows up and it leaves a mark on my skin. So... Um, I'm very self-conscious about that. Um, right now, actually, I don't know if you can tell because, you know, I don't know how close in we're zoomed in or zoomed out, but I have a lot of marks on my skin. So, um, it's really something that I don't like to show because I'm very self-conscious, kind of like when kids have um, acne. So, um, I always do foundation and on top of that, well, underneath that, then I do any of the color correcting concealers, so. Um, I have to say probably the same thing. Um, I have a lot of acne scarring, a lot of like acne around my chin, and I'm very self-confident about it, self-conscious, not self I don't even know, but I don't like it. Um, and I have really, really dark circles under my eyes because... I'm always on the computer because I work online, so I'm always on the computer, I stay up late, I sleep crazy hours, so definitely, you know, concealer, if not, you know, foundation, I definitely concealer and eyeliner because I will not leave the house without concealer or eyeliner because I literally look dead without eyeliner, like I have to do the top and the bottom or else it just kind of looks like, you know, I don't know, it's just, it just looks weird to me without eyeliner on, because I'm like, where'd my eyeballs go? <laughs> God help me. My, they took away my eyes. They took my eyes. Alright, um, lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Hmm, let's see. I really like the eyes. Mm. Oh, God, like, I mean... I'm really attracted to blue or green eyes, and luckily my fiance, he has kind of like the, his eyes rest on blue most of the time, but, you know, they can change to green sometimes, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, our daughter has like light, ha like hazel brown eyes, so she had blue for a moment there, but, you know, as everybody knows, uh, babies are born without pigmentation in their eyes, and they tend to switch, and their color doesn't set until, I think, a year old, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, a year, or two. a year or two, so we were like, oh, those pretty blue, ah, oh, brown, <laughs> like, light brown, though, so she doesn't have my boring eyes, so that's always a plus. Mine? It's so hard. <laughs> That's up. She's doing this all day to me. I'm such an innocent person. Um, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but hair. Like I really like longer hair on guys. I think it's like really, really attractive. Mm. Like I always well, they keep it neat though. Like yeah, like, like sometimes guys have like a really gross texture to yeah, their hair. Yeah, like if it's like full and voluptuous and stuff, cause. Baby is born with it. <laughs> Baby is baby. Because <laughs> this is guy that I do like, and he has like the most gorgeous, beautiful hair, and I'm just like, <sighs> damn team bro, me that shit. I know, and he's just gorgeous, and it just oh, makes me sick. Because <laughs> I'm just like, hair. 
know, it's like almost like almost guys get the the better of the like the stuff that women want. Like mm -hmm. you know, they got the long eyelashes, and you're like, yes, the long eyelashes, the pretty eyes, like the gorgeous hair with volume, and they're like they just roll out of bed, and I'm like, you son of a bitch, I hate you. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> Scalp. I has pretty hair now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the blood. Right. And we're the ones spending like all the money on our hair to change hair colors and mm -hmm. hairstyles and they uh, they just pay for like a haircut and done. It's I like, know. Or, or they'll get like, you know, if you're really good you get kids and scissors and be like, <laughs> done. Right? Really. And it's just like, really? But his hair is beautiful. I have to show you a photo of him. He's a cough. Okay. It well. makes me want to. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay, and the last one is envy. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? Items. And beauty, probably. Oh, I was about to so say money. Seven delicious of beauty. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I've actually got my eyebrows threaded today and I was so excited that I did and I was like well if I could probably spend you know if I could spend some time to learn about threading I went ahead and I um, bought the uh, the thread and then I was looking up videos on YouTube and there was this cool little thing that came out it looks like giant tweezers but it's actually something to thread the thread into oh, wow. and it helps you with like the threading motion mm -hmm. so it was like I want that and I looked on the and it was like thirty three dollars I think for like the complete kit so I was like I want that also if I can get like gift cards to like Sephora Mac and all those places you know mm -hmm. like if I could just get like thousands of dollars on them or whatever or even a hundred I'd be happy <laughs> I'd be like if I had a thousand dollars I'd be like oh, Kimmy come down <laughs> we're going shopping yeah bitch <laughs> and she's like I'll, I'll run there <laughs> I know but like what's your dress don't need it don't need it meet me at Sephora <laughs> <laughs> okay mine I like face paint. Like I, I really love like the body paint and all that. Yes, because I really want to do like more like body paints and stuff like that. Not on myself, obviously, but like for models and stuff. Um, I just I really love that. I think it's really cool how you can make like a complete outfit out of actual paint. And I, I mean, I love like the Mayron, the Ben Nye, the Krylin, like all that. I would just like worship the ground you walk on and just be like yes yes whatever you want I'll do it I will, yeah pretty much yeah well that is the end of this taggy <laughs> <laughs> yes so I hope you guys enjoyed hiding behind paper <gasps> ah paper <laughs> cut please <laughs> yeah. okay well I'm just gonna go put her in the backyard so she can you know, fertilize my backyard and stuff. Because <laughs> I'm so full of shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> she's, she's so full of it. I, I, yeah, just, just. I'm kid friendly. <laughs> yeah, let her watch your kid. <laughs> It'll be fine, they said. They won't fall off a roof, they say. Learn all those language enhancers. <laughs> Because of this, you're in a different language, you don't even know what your kids are saying. <laughs> uh -oh. So if you guys enjoyed this tag, check, click on Veronica's face to go to her channel. There will be a video up in a few days for our next collaboration that we're doing with the Disney collab. So definitely check it out. Subscribe. Subscribe to me if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!